Hi everyone, Kyle here from Redis Labs. Today I'm going to quickly walk through setting up Redis Enterprise Pack in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Okay, I've got PCF Ops Manager up and running with the AWS Ops Manager Director and the Pivotal Elastic Runtime tiles active. I've also already imported the Redis Enterprise Pack for PCF tile. You can download the tile from the Pivotal Network. Just search for Redis Enterprise Pack for PCF in the search bar. Let's start by adding the Redis Enterprise Pack for PCF tile by clicking the little plus sign. Now we can configure our Enterprise cluster by clicking on the tile. We're going to use the defaults for most of this demo. Nothing to change here in the Availability Zone and Network section, so let's move on to the Redis Enterprise Pack section. First, we'll specify the cluster name. The cluster name needs to be a subdomain of the system domain as defined in your Pivotal Elastic Runtime. Next, I will set up an administrator email and password. A cool feature of Redis Enterprise Pack for PCF is that you can assign static IPs if your network topology demands it. That's pretty nifty. Make sure and click Save. Again, we're using the defaults, so nothing to see here in the errands section. Now switching to the resource config, I'm going to stick with the default of a three node cluster. You can select more nodes by clicking on the instances dropdown box. Finally, let's look at the stem cell section. Looks good, nothing to alter here. Now we've configured the cluster, let's go back to the installation dashboard and apply our changes. In just a moment, we'll have a Redis Enterprise Pack cluster running in Pivotal Cloud Foundry, ready to be used by developers in the PCF App Manager. Okay, cool. The changes have been applied. Back on the installation dashboard, we can see our functioning cluster. Let's go into the Apps Manager and use this cluster with an app. I've pushed a sample Node.js app to Cloud Foundry. Let's start it. Okay, we can see it running. This particular app shows bound services. At the moment, there isn't any bound services. So let's bind our Redis Enterprise cluster to the app. In the Spaces section, let's go to the Services tab and click Add a Service and select Redis Enterprise Pack. I'm going to use the simple Redis plan. There are several different plans automatically available that have clustering, high availability, or both. Here, I'm naming the instance, and then I'll bind it to our app using the drop-down menu. Finally, I'll click Add. Awesome, the binding was successful. Let's move back to our app and restart it. Then we can reload the page, and we'll see the app is showing the binding, service name, and plan type. Setting up Redis Enterprise for PCF is a breeze. But if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to expert at redislabs.com.